Hey fam, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to How Laney Lives. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Fam, in today's video, I will be talking a little bit about uh, Bloody Sunday, also known as the Selma Bridge Crossing Jubilee. On March 7th, 1965, about 500 marchers met at the Edmund Pettus Bridge for black civil rights and the end of segregation. The march was called off twice for fear that whites would be very violent towards the blacks and the blacks just having fear that something bad would happen to them. That march was truly a turning point for American history. They knew their lives were at stake because of all the suffering that they had faced in the past, but still they marched. And when they marched across that county line of the Edmund Pettus Bridge, all hell broke loose. The march was broadcast on national television for the whole world to see the brutality that they would face. They were sprayed with tear gas and they were beaten with billy clubs. A lot of them beaten severely. John Lewis was beaten so bad that uh, he was knocked unconscious, but he did recover, thank God. Two weeks after that, Dr. King and thousands of other peaceful marchers marched from that Edmund Pettus Bridge and Selma, 40, 49 miles to the capital of Montgomery demanding a change. In August of 1965, LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson, did sign the civil rights into law. And he stated, we shall overcome. And on that march, Dr. King and the others, they had Jimmy Lee Jackson on their mind. He was killed a couple of months before that march. This year we have a few pioneers that will not participate in the 56th anniversary of crossing that bridge, Bloody Sunday. That would be Congressman John Lewis, Reverend C.T. Vivian, Reverend Joseph Laurie, and Attorney Bruce Benton. They all died in 2020. So fam, on March 7th, take time to read, discuss, Look up, Bloody Sunday. Because even though they were protesting what happened to blacks, that what they called us back in that day, blacks in the South, there were protests all around the United States. I can remember in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the 16th Street Viaduct. You had peaceful marchers, black and white. And when they crossed that 16th Street Viaduct, they were met with protesters throwing bodily, loose bodily fluids at them. Can you imagine walking and protest for peace and have VC thrown? at you. Let's 
Love y'all, fam. Be well. Stay safe. And stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. Word of the year, peace. Peace. Deuces. Love y'all, fam.